Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Honorable judges and esteemed audience, today I stand before you to talk about one of the biggest obstacles in achieving peace, justice, and the sustainable development goals in Indonesia, corruption. As we all know, corruption has been plaguing our beloved country for decades, and it has caused significant setbacks in our progress towards a better future. Corruption is not only about stealing money or abusing power, it also undermines trust in institutions, produces inequality, and violates human rights. It hinders our efforts to achieve sustainable development in all aspects, be it economic, social, or even environmental. The United Nations recognized this problem and named it as one of the targets under Goal 6 things of the SDGs to promote peaceful and inclusive society for sustainable development, provide access and justice for all, and build effective, accountable, and inclusive institutions at all levels. However, it should be noted that corruption is not a problem that can be solved through legal and institutional reforms only. It requires a fundamental changes in the culture, mindset, and behavior of all stakeholders, including citizens, government officials, and business leaders. So, what can we do to fight corruption and promote peace and justice in Indonesia? Here are some measures that we can take to fight corruption and promote peace and justice in Indonesia. First, we need to strengthen our legal and judicial systems. We need to create a transparent, accountable, and independent judiciary that is free from any political influence or intimidations. We need to ensure that our laws and regulations are consistent and clear, and our justice system is fair and accessible to all. Second, we need to improve our governance system. We need to promote transparency, accountability, and participation in our decision-making process and ensure that the government function effectively and efficiently. We need to ensure that our public officials uphold the highest ethical standards and work for the common good, not for the self-interest only. And third, we need to raise public awareness about corruption and encourage people to report any illegal activities or unethical behaviors and we need, we need to promote education and civic engagement to empower citizens to hold their government officials accountable and participate in the fight against corruption. In conclusion, the fight against corruption is not an easy one. It requires us to all to work together, uphold our value, and stand up for what is right. And let us all unite and commit ourselves to promote peace, justice, and integrity in Indonesia so that we can build a future for ourselves and the, and the generation, generation that will, will come for our generation in Indonesia. And that is why I am Afian Muhammad Yapanto from Universitas Yarsi, candidating for Pemilihan Mahasiswa Berprestasi Nasional 2023. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.